You an angel or something else? I don't know. Kindred is based on a pretty iconic novel from 1976 by the very amazing Octavia E. Butler. It's about sort of family and identity and that kind of eternal question of who do I belong to and who belongs to me. I bought a house. What? Surprise. Wait, wait, how did you buy a house without a job? When we first introduced to Dana, she's restarting her life. She moves from New York City after her grandma passes away and kind of tries to start over. Dana's very, very lost. She's an orphan, so she never really had a family. Are you heading east or west? So we're like... Okay, uh, I'm headed that way. I can give you a ride. In the moment that we meet Kevin, he's in a place in his life where he's trying to sort of put the pieces back together. And in meeting Dana, he has a lightning moment, which is, I just have to be around this person. He doesn't know why at first, but I do think that there's a deeper call to her. <laughs> Kevin! You know? Kindred is the story of a young woman who is essentially yanked back into the 18th century and has to ensure her own existence, save her family, and ensure her family line. You saved me when I was a baby, and then again when I was drowning. Mama saw you, Dad saw you too. What's so interesting and unique about the show is that it's a little bit of everything because it's a drama, it's science fiction, it's a period piece, it's history, it has comedic elements, it's a family story. That's my mother. She's alive. I'm interested in drama being the site of multiple modes of feeling and engagement. To be a part of a story, to get involved in a story, to witness a story, is to open yourself up to the wide panoply of what we can feel. Are you okay? Yes. It sounded like you've been hurt. I'm fine, Kevin's helping me. The fact that it's set in 2016 was such a interesting and clever shift because this is a time and era in history where we are talking about things. We are talking about race, we're talking about gender dynamics, we are talking about everything that's been difficult to socially discuss. What year is it where you're from? 2016. You realize that when Dana goes back to the past, she's not only accountable for her actions, but for the actions of everyone in the 1800s. She kind of needs to keep somewhat of a status quo in order for Dana to maintain her own existence. Tom Whalen sort of inherited this plantation. He's not your classic gentleman, kind of unrefined, unpolished, unruly, and unpredictable. Margaret Whelan is Tom Whelan's second wife. She's from Irish peasant stock and kind of um, scrapped her way into this more upwardly mobile position. I think Margaret is deeply jealous of Dana. It brings out the worst side of a human being that you could imagine. Dana keeps time traveling back to save this kid named Rufus. Rufus! Where are you, you little shit? He's in Mars, he's just a boy. What? But I beat the skin off of you too. And Dana helps him. Dana is purifying him, trying to steer him off of the straight path to become his father. So you disappear and then you showed up back here in front of me. You, you are not crazy. Whatever this is, it's real. When you sit down to watch the first season of Kindred, you're gonna need your open heart and an open brain because it will ask of you as much as it's asked of us. Expect drama, expect amazing performances, expect new ideas. I feel like I've hit the lottery with this ensemble of actors who give me such respect, kindness, and generosity. I feel grateful that I know them. My mother's body was never found. I have to do something. I have to go back.